Now is the part of the show where I get the special privilege of introducing you a special guest who will come up here and do some stand-up or tanned-up, either way. Either <laughs> one. Uh, very special guest, love this guy. He's doing stand-up all around town. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Jim Hamilton! <laughs> My name is Jim Hamilton. I am in the business of trying to sound smarter than I am. And business is well. <laughs> Did you know the word coincide does not mean to kill coins? <laughs> Why did I even go to college? <laughs> Got some bad news recently. I went to the doctor and I found out that I can't have children. And the um, medical explanation, as far as I understand it, is that uh, when I ejaculate, there is uh, rarely, if ever, a, uh, a woman in the room. <laughs> I haven't had sex in so long, my hymen grew back. <laughs> I got a fortune cookie today that read, you will die alone. Yeah, in bed. <laughs> I had a girlfriend once, play along. <laughs> Uh, her name was, yeah, I'm not going to say her name. What's in a name, right? A rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Although, in Shakespeare times, it probably didn't have a rose named Megafart. <laughs> the first time I saw her was at this little Vietnamese restaurant in Echo Park. She gave me goosebumps. I threw them in her face. I said, I ordered duck balls. <laughs> <laughs> Took me a long time to ask her out. I don't know why I have such a fear of rejection. It's like a fish that's afraid of water. Oh. <laughs> that girl, oh, she took my breath away. I think she's gonna regret that one. Those jars will probably be worth a lot of money when I die. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that anymore. I cut myself while shaving because who has time to do both? <laughs> I like that song, Tiny Dancer. It's a good song, Tiny Dancer. I guess nobody had the heart to tell Elton John that other bands don't have a seamstress. <laughs> <laughs> I also like that song, Eleanor Rigby. That's by the Beatles. It's a good song. That song, though, it's about this woman who was so intolerable in life that nobody attended her funeral. Interesting thing though, the name Eleanor Rigby is actually an anagram for Ringo Larrabee, which is Ringo Starr's given name. Yeah. And while none of that's true, <laughs> it really makes you think. I got drunk last night, I'm too drunk. I woke up this morning with a penis drawn on my forehead and I live alone. <laughs> <laughs> Be very careful drinking though, it's not healthy. I had, this, I had this terrible nightmare the other night. I dreamt that I could see my own tombstone. My tombstone read, here lies Jim Hamilton. He left this world 
just as he entered it, face down in an Applebee's toilet. <laughs> make very much money doing comedy, but I don't think it's the IRS's place to call my pay gross. I don't make money. I don't want to tell you exactly how much I make, but uh, take how much money Mike Tyson makes doing comedy, and then subtract that same amount. <laughs> I feel like maybe I've wasted my life doing comedy. It's not. I'm reminded of this story my grandfather told me. I guess it was from the old country or something. It's about this old man who was lost in the wilderness, just eating these root vegetables. He was starving. But then one day he happened upon a duck, a fat, delicious duck. And he tried to grab the duck, and then the duck waddled off. And then he pursued that duck. But he just couldn't catch it. And he kept following that duck through orange groves and cornfields. He followed the duck past goat farms and fishing holes. He even followed that duck past other ducks. And he never caught it, and the old man died of starvation. <laughs> Not so funny. Uh, it's a metaphor. It's a metaphor. Like, don't. Be so focused on one goal that you miss other opportunities. Uh, incidentally, that's where we get the phrase, don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the applause upstairs. Uh, I put a lot of TLC into my jokes. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the show, guys. Thank you very much.